Okay, so the first card is, um, you know, a weakness. So you're feeling a bit ill. You may be going through a bit of a flu right now. So you're not at your best right now. There might be a wedding that you're attending at the moment, you know, or soon to attend. Uh, you've got the wedding card coming in. So you might be, you might be the one get, that is getting married or you might be attending a wedding and you're not feeling too hot. If you're getting married, um, my heart goes out to you if you're feeling a bit ill. But this could well be that you're attending a wedding and you're not feeling, you know, your best self. Uh, you're dealing with somebody that is very angry, so you may have upset somebody uh, recently and they might have thrown a little bit of a temper tantrum. So in the past, you've got a reconciliation, so it seems like uh, whatever relationship you've had, you know, you've uh, made up. So if you've had a bit of a breakup, maybe you've gotten um, back together with this person. And, uh, you know, it seems like there was a lawyer that was involved in the situation. Uh, and maybe this is uh, a marriage. Maybe this wedding is actually your wedding uh, because you've got some legalities coming in over here and the needing to consult a lawyer. Maybe you're drawing up contracts with this person that you've recon reconciled with. Um, so going to the future, you've got uh, anger. So it looks like um, this could well be you or you're still dealing with this person that's pretty angry or pretty upset about what's happened. And uh, they've got you've got a success card over here. So whatever um, happens, the outcome is pretty positive because you've got a success card. You've got a laurel um, crown over here. So you know a lot of happiness and success coming your way uh, in the future. Okay, you've got the world card over here. So you might be um, you know ending a cycle in your life, uh, something all coming to an end. Uh, you're closing the chapter in that particular life. The world card is the end of the major arcana. So you've gone through a lot of life lessons to get to this particular point and you're now uh, putting everything to rest. It is also a card of achievement and completion. So you are reaching a phase in your work life that is, you know, you're at the top of your game right now. So you're finishing off cycles in your life. You are finishing off relationships in your life that are no longer serving you and you're moving on to a brand new start. So uh, this year may have been the end of all of that drama that you're going through. And now maybe for the new year, you're going to bring in a new cycle uh, with this work card. It definitely shows that there are things that are coming to an end. This also could indicate that you may want to, to travel. So you might be thinking of going in, uh, you know, international travel or even relocating uh, to do your work. And that in itself will bring in a new cycle. So you've got the Knight, Knight of Staves over here. So this in itself shows, uh, you know, you're making plans for the future over here. You can see he's looking out to the future. The Knight of Staves also talks about going and relocating for work um, so or moving home. So it looks like with the World Card and the Naval Knight of Staves, you might want to be, you might be planning on relocating or doing a job, the same job somewhere else on an international front, doing a lot more travel. And you definitely have that energy to do that. You've got the nine of pentacles over here. So it looks like, you know, you have accumulated a lot of wealth uh, for yourself. You're reaching that point of financial independence. Um, you know, you may have uh, worked really hard uh, independently of your partner to actually accumulate this wealth. And this particular job that you're going to be doing if you are moving work is going to give you that financial independence that you want and make you very, very um, self-sufficient. And it's going to allow you to achieve everything that you want. So in the past year, you've got the Temperance card reaching a balance and healing. So the last year has been a year of healing and trying to get things sorted out in your life. Um, you know, whatever uh, advice you've been taking it and been putting it into your life and been getting, um, you know, a lot of positive healing results. Uh, so you've, you've actually, um, you know, basically sorted yourself up. You're not uh, behaving too emotionally. You are balancing out your life. And maybe you've spent a lot more time worrying about your health, sorting that out as well. So you are taking care of yourself in this last year. Going uh, in the last three months, you've got the lover's card. So this could indicate, you know, a very strong sexual uh, relationship with somebody. Uh, this could also uh, indicate that you've got some sort of decision that you need to make about what you want to do. Maybe in this particular sexual relationship that you're having, you're not quite satisfied. You see both these people look extremely bored even though they're, you know, they're, they're very, very amorous with each other. It looks like even though you're in this relationship, it may feel like it's not going anywhere and you're reaching a point where you have to make some kind of decision, some kind of turning point is about what you want to do and how far you want to go with this relationship. On your mind is the tower. And, you know, maybe you're thinking that if you um, make a choice, it's going to disrupt everything. So you are a bit worried about things going completely wrong or having, you know, you're worried about loss, about losing everything 
uh, if you make this particular decision. If you make a choice to leave, you're worrying that everything is going to, uh, you know, just all go up in smoke. So going into the future, you've got the um, seven of pentacles over here. So you are investing a lot of time and effort in your future. You might be working with somebody that you find very, very attractive right now. But whatever work you're doing now, it's so that you can accumulate wealth. or it, It's also something where you're accumulating talents or you're accumulating experience uh, so that you can uh, improve uh, your career path. So you are focused a lot on your work and accumulating money. Uh, you know, um, this card talks about um, you know having a harvest and waiting for that to mature. So whatever skills you are learning, it is now going to uh, sit well for the future, and it's going to be something that you can draw on in order to make more money for the future. So you are learning on the job. In your personal life, you are um, it's a bit chaotic. Uh, you know, there's a lot of. Um, fighting and arguing and bickering going on over here and maybe the other person that you're dealing with is behaving in a very vindictive manner and you're not very very um you know they're they're stripping you of your confidence so there's a lot of uh, anger and harsh words being spoken about in this particular relationship that you're going through so yourself you're feeling you know very victimized uh, what's going on around you you want everything to end uh, you want that cycle to come to a close you want the end of all these difficulties and you want to move on and you're prepared to cut them out of your life so you're prepared to get rid of all of this drama that is going on and move forward you want a transformation you realize that whatever this relationship that you're having is now reached its conclusion you are both bored in it you can see both parties looking the other way the cup being left on the table over there um, so, you know, it seems like you are aware that things are not quite working out and both of you are have different visions of the future and, you know, you are not very, very happy. Uh, you are both um, maybe feeling a little trapped within that relationship. So going into the future, you've got the Knight of Swords, the Emperor and the Ten. So it looks like with this uh, Knight of Swords and the Emperor card... Uh, you know, maybe you are have decided that, that um, you know, you want to end this relationship and you want to cut it out of your life in a kind of a legal way. So you've got the emperor coming in in, in a legal form. So maybe there is a judgment pending. Maybe there is a, a divorce pending. And it seems like uh, this is what is going to go down with the Knight of Swords and the Emperor. It's talking about a court case, um, some kind of legal issues uh, where a ruling is being made by this emperor. So it's a, a sort of a judgment card. And you've got the 10 here, so that cycle is now ended. So it looks like you are planning on uh, divorcing the person that you are with at the moment and ending this relationship completely in a legal matter. You've got the 10 of um, pentacles over here, so it looks like there's that end of that relationship coming on, the end of the cycle. So it seems like whatever happened uh, between you, there doesn't seem like a way that you want to reconcile these differences. Uh, it seems like you want to focus more on your work. Maybe you have a love interest uh, with whom you're working with, somebody that you're you're attracted to. But it looks like the relationship that you're in, it seems like you know you you feel that it's it's you know it's humiliating to be in that relationship. This person might be humiliating you by the things that they say. You feel that you are uh, you don't get any emotional fulfillment from this person, and it seems like with this Knight of Swords, the Emperor. And the 10, it looks like um, there will be a, a kind of, a, well, a divorce and a ruling made uh, so that that uh, particular uh, relationship comes to an end. With the Knight of Swords, it's a very quick uh, case. It doesn't look like it's going to be dragging on for very long. The Knight of Swords is very quick moving energy. So it looks like, uh, you know, it's almost like you're in today and, and divorced tomorrow. And it looks like this relationship is going to be brought to an end. You've got the Seven of Gabriel. Uh, here I would say stand up for what you believe in, have confidence and claim your personal power. So it looks like you need to defend yourself and defend why you're doing things. And, um, you know, you have to get your personal power back with the seven of Gabriel. The second one is the sixth of uh, Michael, which says there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So it seems like with the world card, you are changing things, you are ending things and you are moving on. It looks like there is some uh, relocation or maybe some international travel coming in as well. And with the five of Gabriel, it says a challenge you can resolve withdraw from the drama of others, have patience with yourself and those around you. So the five of Gabriel also talking about uh, a lot of bickering, arguing, fighting, a lot of challenges that you have to face. But it seems to say, you know, just walk away from it and just um, wait it out because um, it will all resolve itself. So it seems like, you know, you had tired of all the arguments and fighting 
and you are now planning on um, investing your career, your time in your career, and the, you know, uh, and um, trying to get up that career ladder rather than having to deal with all the emotional drama that you've gone through. And it seems like you want to actually end this relationship on a very legal basis. So a, a judgment made, some sort of legalities that you will be dealing with as well. So I hope that, and uh, whatever you do, whatever new job you do, it looks like you will, um, you know, do a lot of traveling. There looks like there is re relocation, but it also something that brings in a lot of money. You might end up meeting somebody whom you are better suited to uh, with this new job, and it's going to give you a lot of financial independence as well.